a little pretty slick um, in some pretty dangerous conditions, so I want to warn people about that ahead of time. What you should be doing right now so that you are ready when that storm hits. And an IMPD officer caught on camera punching a student receives his sentence, the consequences he's now facing. Making a difference through music. I'm Eric Pointer. This morning, I'm telling you one man's story to change the perception of his neighborhood. Thanks so much for being with us here on this busy Tuesday morning, February 1st. I'm Angela Brower. Hey, I'm Nick McGill. We're talking about the literal calm before the storm mm -hmm. that is headed this way. For more of that, we're going to turn it right now over to Alyssa, who's in for a KMAC this morning. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, this is exactly the calm before the storm situation. Right now, things are dry outside. Temperatures not that bad. Downtown Indianapolis, 32 degrees outside this morning. Feels like 26. So we do have a wind chill, a breeze out of the southeast, but this actually helping to pump in some warm air that we're really going to see take place later this afternoon when high temperatures go into the 50s. So that's a place we haven't been in a minute. It's been a cooler end of January. Live Guardian radar right now. Our temperature is 32 degrees. Things are dry. We do have some watches and warnings into effect right now. So winter storm watch. That's all the things you see in blue right now. And then the warning. So we know we're going to have some more snow to the north and more of a rain to ice mix um, to the south. But we are expecting a good amount of snow uh, for the next couple of days here no matter where you live in central Indiana. Satellite and radar right now showing cloudy skies. We're going to continue to see some warm air being pumped in. You can see right now 32 degrees, but that 50 over there in Springfield, we're going to tap into a little bit of that heat later on today. That's ahead of a big cool down. You can see the surface winds pushing in some warm and moist air up north here to Indianapolis. So we're going to be talking about that, that calm before the storm and their temperatures warming up significantly this afternoon ahead of a big cool down and of course timing out that big winter storm that's coming in the next couple of days. Hey, good morning, guys. Can I say it? I'm going to say it. I know you both said it, but it is literally the calm before the storm, and you're going to experience that out on the roads this morning as well. Let's take you out there. So first thing you should know, since we are experiencing that little lull in the weather right now, pack a car kit. Take this time, fill your tank, get some water, some snacks, some kitty litter to help you get out of a tight spot, and a phone charger, of course. And of course, this too, know before you go. Check the forecast, stay up to date with us, tell someone where you're going and when you'll arrive. Now, out on the roads, you can see that there's no weather for uh, drivers to contend with this morning. Nothing to slow you down as drivers are going out at uh, those posted speed limits, some a little bit above. And what's it look like out in Fishers on I-69? Free and clear this morning. We'll have another look for you in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. Right now, central Indiana is gearing up for what really could be the biggest winter storm so far this season. Yeah, happening today, Indy Mayor Joe Hogg said in the Department of Public Works will hold a news conference to talk about how the city is preparing. DPW is warning, though, that crews won't be able to pre-treat the roads. We can't actually get out onto the roads until after all of that rain stops. Um, because we can't, it's pointless to lay material um, while it's raining because it's just going to wash away. The news conference will begin at 2 p.m. We'll stream it online on our website, cbs4indy.com. And listen, now is your chance. If you need those last minute items, you'll want to get to the store today. Local hardware stores are already seeing a demand for supplies. Sullivan's Hardware expects a rush of people this morning and then again after work. They say they've been selling a lot of salt. That all salt really is not safe for your concrete. So the key is once it melts, we need to broom that off. It's good to know. Again, the storm is expected to somewhat begin tonight. It could last for a few days. Now, Parkersville Deputy Fire Chief Mike Pruitt is telling Hoosiers to check other parts of your home as well. That includes clearing your gutters and making sure you have a generator on standby in case you lose power. He said it's also really important that you store that generator properly. So one of the other things that we always run into when we involve ice is power outages and generators work great as long as they are outside and away from the interior home where it could create a buildup of carbon dioxide. Pruitt also recommends you clear fire hydrants. Uh, there should be at least three feet of space in every direction from them. You can say weather where by downloading our free Indy Weather Authority app. It has a live look at our Guardian radar and hourly forecast for your area. It's available on your favorite app store. Breaking now, IMPD is investigating a serious crash that happened on the city's near north side. Three vehicles were involved here. Officers said two of the vehicles were going east on Fall Creek Parkway when a third car tried to turn in front of 
of them. That then caused a chain reaction and that crash. Three adult females were involved. One of them went to the hospital. At last check, she was stable. New this morning, an Indianapolis police officer captured on video punching a high school student has been sentenced to 363 days of probation for official misconduct. A jury in November convicted Robert Lawson of official Fire, misconduct, Robert, perjury, and false informing. Yesterday, those latter charges were vacated by a judge. You may remember a video of Lawson hitting a 17-year-old male student outside of Short Ridge High School in 2019. It was shared widely on social media then. We want to warn you, you're going to play it again now. It may be hard for some to watch. Now, Lawson initially claimed that he was defending himself, but prosecutors said otherwise. The teen had been involved in a fight and was being escorted off school property. Lawson has been suspended without pay since the incident. Now, the Civilian Police Merit Board will have a hearing on Lawson's possible termination. Developing now 506, IMPD is investigating a deadly shooting that happened on the northeast side. A man was shot on Shady Lane. Officers are now searching that area, hoping to locate some witnesses. They're pleading, though, with the community to find other ways to solve problems. We will continue to um, strive to um, take those trigger pullers and those who do not understand how to resolve um, conflict without picking up a firearm or hurting someone. We are um, very focused on trying to uh, put a dent in violent crime and those uh, who continue to rid our, our neighborhoods with gun violence. The shooting marked the 18th homicide in January. If you have information about what happened, you can call IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers at 262 Tips. We also have some new information following a deadly shooting on the northeast side. IMPD confirms the suspect is now in custody. Police responded to the Carriage House East Department near 42nd and Midhoffer Sunday night. There they found a man who had been shot and killed. The family of Marlon Kaiser said he was killed by one of his childhood friends. The two were apparently fighting over a woman. Officers said security cameras captured Andre Johnson driving away from that scene. They arrested him shortly after the shooting. Police tracked down Johnson as well because he was wearing a GPS monitor that stemmed from a previous criminal case. We keep seeing this happen and it is preventable when people have these kinds of issues with one another. Get somebody else involved, maybe a mitigator or someone to help resolve the issue. Johnson is now being held at the Marion County Bail without bond. Well, the U.S. will once again try to speak with Russia to ease rising tension in East Europe. On Monday, the U.S. State Department ordered the departure of American diplomats stationed in Belarus. What the United States plans to do if a, an agreement is not met. This morning, a majority of the U.S. is preparing for winter weather. What the state of Texas is doing so that its homeowners don't end up in the dark like they did during last year's deadly storm. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, good morning. Yeah, right now we are starting things off dry, but that winter storm is going to be affecting us here at home in central Indiana. We've got cloudy skies this morning on the satellite and radar, but just wait. The rain's going to start first, and then we're going to see that rain to snow mix tonight. My full forecast is coming up in just a little bit. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations so you can fight back. Our team will listen to you. Dig into our resources and uncover the truth about who's cutting corners, who's hiding their past, and who could be walking away with your money. Fight back. Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations at CBS4Indy.com or by calling the number on your screen. We've been cooking up this kitchen design for a while. So it's going to be perfect. Okay, that pattern works. Wow, this whole look works. And at a price that really works. I think our work here is done. At Floor & Decor, our helpful associates and free in-store design services add to your experience, not your expenses. And with an unmatched selection of high-quality products all at everyday low prices, creating the kitchen to match your taste has never been easier. Discover Floor & Decor today. We love our new home. Lots of windows, great light. But the birds. Oh. They're back. Yes, I hear them. Uh-oh. Why are these birds so angry? At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! Hurry up! 
I know, I know. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Basement Systems of Indiana. We're the all things basement tea company. Did you know that up to 50% of the air you breathe in your home comes through the basement? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. We'll transform your basement into a dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call Basement Systems of Indiana today for all things basement tea. Join Planet Fitness today for zero enrollment. Zero. Like a bagel. And it's only $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Bagels are awesome. Enjoy tons of equipment for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment. And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. But the part that'll really get you going is that post-workout high. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. Feel spectacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends February 2nd. Happening today, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will speak via phone. The two nations are trying to cool the rising tension in Eastern Europe. The Russian government sent a written response to the U.S. on Monday. The country responded to a U.S. proposal aimed at de-escalating the crisis along the Ukrainian border. We do not yet know what was said, though, in that letter. If Russia further invades Ukraine, none of us will be able to say we didn't see it coming. We fully understand that the desire of our American colleagues to whip up hysterics. NATO Secretary General warned Russia may use joint training exercises with Belarus as a disguise to attack Ukraine. That is set to happen in about 10 days. CBS News has learned the Pentagon could soon announce U.S. troops based in Europe will move closer to the front lines. On 512, former President Donald Trump is under fire for comments he made at a rally Saturday. Trump admitted he wanted then-Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the 2020 election. Trump also falsely claimed that Pence had the power to do so. Now a Georgia prosecutor is asking the FBI for help with security. The prosecutor wants to know whether Trump violated Georgia election laws. The former president called for huge protests against any such investigation. In Georgia, a judge rejected federal plea deals for a father and son sentenced to life without parole for killing Ahmaud Arbery. Travis and Gregory McMichael wanted to be sent to a federal prison instead of a state facility. Arbery's family, though, opposed that plea deal, and so did the federal judge, at least for now. We know there's another hearing this Friday. Indiana isn't the only state preparing for winter weather. In Texas, temperatures are projected to drop below freezing. People there are concerned about the energy demand. Many have mentioned the statewide outages almost a year ago. 151 people died during that emergency. Eric is forecasting demand will be at an all time high. An energy consultant said he's not optimistic about the reliability of the power grid, especially since the new state law does not require natural gas supply facilities to winterize. If there are outages, it's a sign that our system is far worse than um, anybody thought. This is not a storm that covers the entire state where we're going to have precipitation. Basically, the entire state uh, stay under freezing for multiple days consecutively. ERCOT said it's taking steps to ensure the grid remains reliable. The company ordered plans to postpone any planned outages. Here at CBS4, we like to be reliable as well. That's why we have Alyssa Andrews tracking that coming storm headed our way. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, good morning. Right now, starting off dry and clear for us this morning. That's going to change, though. Heading into the afternoon hours, we're already going to start to see more clouds moving in, and then the rain's going to start. That's where it all gets started ahead of this winter storm system. There's a live look at downtown Indiana this morning where temperatures I mean we're at freezing we're at 32 degrees but it's not bad it's pretty mild in fact a little bit warmer than where we should be for normal lows this time of year so we're starting off a little milder and temperatures feel like 26 degrees though so we have a breeze out of the south it's helping to pull in some warm moist air out of the Gulf so we're gonna see this thing start off as rain showers with warmer air but we're still looking at some snowfall deficits still down about 14 inches for where we should be this time of year now we are forecasting right now still a little early because we're we're trying to nail down that rain and snow line where we start to mix out across Indianapolis. Really, the central band right here is going to be the big question mark. But 
8 to 12 inches, not out of the question for Indianapolis to the north. Going to get over a foot of snow, it looks like, out of the system. And then to the south, where snow accumulation and snow totals are going to be a little bit less. Um, this is still significant compared to where we've been all winter season long with this snow deficit being in the snow hole here in Indianapolis. And we are looking at more of an ice event to the south where we get some of that rain to snow mix. Right now, temperatures are 32 in Indianapolis, 32 Kokomo. Most of us looking at freezing right around low to mid 30s as you start your day off. Winter storm watch is in effect for everything you see in blue, and that's going to be a winter storm warning to the north in the pink. So that could get expanded. We've seen it expand just in the last day uh, as we come out with new warnings and watches. So we're going to keep an eye on this, but it's going to be an effect from or tomorrow, Wednesday, all the way into Thursday. It's going to be heaviest impact because today we know it's going to get started, but really it's going to be more dry today. We're going to see rain showers later on in the afternoon that are then going to then transition over to the rain to snow mix late tonight. So satellite radar right now looks quiet. You wouldn't think that a winter storm is on the way, but it is. Winds are pulling out of the south right now. It's going to usher in that warm air later this afternoon. And I want to show you what it's going to look like here in the next couple of hours. We go dry. Temperatures are going to be warming up through this, and as that happens, that's when we get this rain. 5 p.m., you can see some areas to the north and western Indiana starting to get some rain showers along a frontal boundary. We pull in that warm air. Temperatures rise into the low 50s as this happens, and then you go to 1 a.m. tonight, so late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. You start to see areas to the north transitioning over as temperatures drop, and you'll see more of a rain to snow mix in the pink. So we're looking at ice accumulation, areas of sleet, and then we start with the heavy snowfall to the North. That's 5 30 a.m. for Wednesday. So where our watches and warnings are in effect right now for the state of Indiana, this is going to be Wednesday morning all through the day Wednesday and on into Thursday. There's 9 30 a.m. More of that snow line shifted farther south as temperatures are not going to be cold enough to support snowfall throughout all layers of the atmosphere and then to the south. South of I-70 is going to be where more of that ice accumulation and sleet happens. 4 p.m. Wednesday, we are still going strong with those snow showers. It's going to take a while and then we get a little bit of a break Wednesday night, a brief little slowdown where we start to dry out to the north and then it just starts all over again. We go into Thursday. Those watches and warnings are still going to be in effect, and this is where we get our heaviest snowfall where we're talking potentially 8 to 12 inches in Indianapolis. So we are going to be continuing to watch this line where we think, OK, it might go to a little bit of a, of a rain to snow mix if temperatures can warm up enough, but it looks like highs today in the low 50s and then a big cool down is on the way where temperatures go into the 20s by Thursday and we can get some sub sub zero temperatures as we head into the weekend 16. That's it. That's going to be the high on Friday. Wow, talk about a roller coaster. No thrills to expect out on the roads early this morning, but we do have some back pocket information for you to get you out the door. You're going to want to pack a car kit. Take the extra time that you would use today to, to get where you need to go to give yourself a full tank of gas, pack some water, snacks, kitty litter to get you out of a tight spot and a phone charger wouldn't hurt either. And also know before you go, check the forecast and tell someone where you're going and when you expect to arrive. This is all going to be uh, very important information to have as we get into the things tomorrow. Now we're telling you to get gas. Where's the cheapest place to get it right now? It looks like you're going to want to head to Brownsburg, the shell there 285. And what are things like over uh, in the city right now? Free and clear. You should have nothing to slow you down on your way to work or wherever you're trying to go early this morning. We'll have another look in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. A local man is giving back to his community. Yeah, and he's using his love for music to do it. And it's an avenue for people in the neighborhood and the community to learn something new. How Eugene Schrader Jr. got the idea to start the Post Road Music School. That's coming up. Happening now, Hoosier caregivers are getting frustrated because they can't find baby formula anywhere. Check Costco's, Costco Online, Walgreens. What's going to happen if they're sold out? This morning, CBS4 is getting answers. What is causing that formula shortage and what to do if you're running out of options? I bought my van in 2005. The guys at Tom would take care of me and fix whatever's going on. 120,000 miles later, I still love that car. Trust the Tom Wood Auto Group to service your vehicles. Hi, we're OfferPad, and we want to buy your home. Getting your offer is easy. Just go to OfferPad.com, tell us about your home, and we'll send you a competitive offer. Why sell the OfferPad? 
because it's a better experience. No showings, you pick the closing date, and we'll even move you locally for free. We know what your home means to you, so we're committed to be with you every step of the way. Your online home buyer with a human touch. We've helped thousands of happy home sellers, and we'd love to help you. OfferPad, request your free purchase offer today. With Panera's You Pick 2, every meal is made fantastic. You can be fresh and fun, bold and classic, cozy and precocious. With 465 fresh, clean, craveable pairings, find a You Pick 2 for any mood. Panera, the familiar made fantastic. The Suburban Indie Home and Outdoor Living Show. February 11th through 13th at Grand Park in Westfield. If you're hungry and you want a great deal, the Super Slam is your perfect meal. It's pancakes, eggs, sausage, bacon, and hash browns. It's enough breakfast for dinner, and it's as good as it sounds. See you at Denny's. My daughter has type 2 diabetes, and lately, I've seen this change in her. Once weekly, Trulicity is proven to help lower A1C. It lowers blood sugar from the first dose, and you could lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Ask your doctor about once-weekly Trulicity. Complete your bathroom update with help from an arts. Max has more than 1,000 shower doors, bathtubs, and shower kits to add luxury to your life. Match your style and save big money with our beautiful selection of Hannah shower kits. Add a finishing touch with a Waterpik shower head. The innovative and sleek designs offer multiple modes and massage capabilities. Like the Power Pulse Massage 7 Spray Handheld Shower Head. On sale just $29.99 now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Watch Bob Donaldson weeknights on CBS4. Five twenty-one is your time right now. Local musician is working to change the perception of his neighborhood. He doesn't want people to see it as a place with a lot of crime, but instead a positive community. This morning, he's hoping to spread that vision with the gift of music. And just to see the happiness on their faces when they've played something, when they've played an instrument. And the Post Road Music School is inside the Emanuel Christian Fellowship Church. The founder and director of the school, Eugene Schrader Jr., has more than 50 years of experience with music. CBS Sports' Eric Pointer is live in our newsroom right now with his story. Eric, I love it already. How does he hope his experience will help better the community? Great story here. Mr. Strader has played alongside some really huge legends like Al Green and gospel icon Shirley Caesar. He's also joined the Marine Corps band and played all over the world, but it's this community, the one he grew up in, that he wants to focus on. To me, music is life. I can't imagine life without music. For Eugene Strader Jr., music has taken him to many places. He played all over the world in the Marine Corps band and with big names like R&B legend Al Green. I used to play with a uh, church in San Diego. I got a chance to meet, um, oh man, Walter Hawkins, Shirley Caesar. He says music has the power to change lives like it did for him. And that's what he wants his new school to do for the Post Road community. Every time you hear Post Road on the news, on TV, the first thing you think about, who shot, who died, who got stabbed. He wants it to give people new opportunities. Who knows what may come of that? Maybe less crime in the, in the community. Maybe somebody's life is turned around. The students he already have appreciate what he's doing. What I think it means to my community is that they can come and learn how to play music and have fun. It makes you feel good and it makes you feel happy. Perfect. He already has some students looking forward to their futures like Demetrius, who's been playing for three months and hopes to keep getting better. I wonder if I can play a lot better and maybe play it in, a, in an orchestra or something like that. They might be nominated for a Grammy Award. And for some, something like that to happen, and it started at Post Road Music Academy, and that would be awesome. 
Eugene says the first lesson is free and then they can work out cost after that. He doesn't want price to be a barrier for someone to take a lesson. In the newsroom, Eric Pointer, back to you, Angela. All right, Eric, thank you for sharing that. You can read more too online, cbs4indy.com. Happening now, parents are running into a really tricky and frustrating problem. There is a formula shortage nationwide. Now, this isn't something you can just shrug your shoulders at and choose something else. Some mothers can't or have chosen not to breastfeed. So if babies are formula fed, doctors want those children to stay on until they're at least a year old. That is their main source of nutrition. And as they get older, babies need more and more formula throughout the day. If you're like me, you're going through at least one container of formula per day. But lately, families can't find what they need at the store, and they're not knowing where to turn or what to do. Those costs go online, Walgreens, Longs, can't find it anywhere. Once we do run out of this formula, what's going to happen if they're sold out? Some babies also need to be on a special dietary formula, and those are even more difficult to find. Others won't do well switching to a new formula or makeup so suddenly. And then if they are on um, any sort of specialty formula or broken down formula, I would definitely recommend reaching out to your pediatrician and seeing what they recommend before going and buying what you think is the equivalent. We're told some of the shortages are related to procuring raw materials, some of that in production, some packaging. There are also labor shortages in each of the factories, in transportation, and in store. So even if the formula is in the back of the retailer or in a warehouse, simply getting it off the shelves is delayed. Over the phone, Similac confirmed to me that it, like everything else, is experiencing a supply shortage, but the representative could not provide a timeline of when things would improve. The company did not respond to CBS News with an official statement. Enfamil's maker Reckitt said it has quote ample supply but added sales are up 18 percent which is more than double birth rates. And don't even get me started on the price of formula right yeah, now. Wow. I was, yeah. I, I, and when we went to the sound mine, I really had to ask you, uh, a can of formula a day? It's amazing how much you, you go through. Well, we're on the ready to feed, so you don't have to do all the mixing. Yeah. But even switching, and I just learned this, switching from the liquid over to the powder, that has small changes in it as well. And so, again, babies can't really just do that cold turkey. Yeah, wow. All yeah. right. Yeah, something to definitely think about there. Thank you, Andrew, for that. 526 is your time right now. Uh, Smaller Central Indiana hospitals are now hoping to, their staff hurry up and get their COVID vaccines. Healthcare employees have to have one dose by February 14th before a federal mandate takes effect. Where they all stand right now and how much of their workforce could be out of a job. Plus, IMPD needs your help sounding the alarm on staffing issues. The department's plan to hire another 200 officers. That's coming up. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, good morning. Well, how about this? We're going to be more than 10 degrees above normal today. A high temperature of 51. We know there's rain on the way. And of course, we've been talking about this winter storm. That's coming up for us late tonight. We transition overnight. And then Wednesday and Thursday, things are going to start to get messy out there before a big cool down takes place. In just a little bit, I'm going to explain this full forecast for you and time out that winter storm. People today, they could spend half their lives over 50, which is great, but it's going to take some planning. What can you do for me? So it helps to have a wise friend and fierce defender in your corner, a friend like AARP, to help your money live as long as you do, the money you earn, the money you splurge, I'm going in, and the money you save. Hey, I just bought that. Huh, I just sold that. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join today. Be as more than white windows. Design your home with the colors you love. Black, red, green, beige, gray, and sandstone exteriors. Plus beautiful hardware options to complement your design. Plus rich colors on the inside stained for your home. B offers total design choices. B lets you virtually design colors to match the character of your home. Up to 50% off plus manufacturer's rebates and no interest, no payments for 18 months. Trust me. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. There is nothing like a day, nothing in the world. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. USA Today raves. South Pacific doesn't just float, it soars. Some enchanted evening. Enchanted indeed. South Pacific. February 22nd. Tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. Are you in excruciating pain brought on by your son, daughter, or spouse suffering from addiction? 
the sleepless nights, the constant worry, and the feelings of isolation. I want you to know you are not alone. Addiction destroys families, but if you call Recovery Centers of America today, your loved one can begin to recover, and so can your whole family. At Recovery Centers of America, your loved one will be treated with care by expert addiction professionals in our beautiful facility and will have access to specialized programs. Family sessions and programming will give you support and healing so that you can recover as well. Recovery Centers of America accepts insurance, provides transportation, and offers intervention services at no cost. Patients are admitted 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call us today. Don't wait. Call 1-800-635-9209 today. Live from CBS4, this is your news now. As Central Indiana braces for severe winter weather, officials are stressing the importance of preparation. I'm Lindsay Stone, and coming up, we are sharing tips from the experts on preparing your home and what you need to do to protect your family. And a woman says Brownsburg police went to her home searching for her son multiple times, despite him already being in the Marion County Jail the entire time. My official said there was a mix-up. This morning, we're learning more about the new Omicron sub-variant called BA2, why tracking this strain is more difficult. Well, thanks for joining us. It's 531 right now on your Tuesday morning. Glad you could join us here on CBS4. I'm Nick McGill. And I'm Angela Brower. It's weird that we're, you know, gearing up for this huge winter storm because, yeah. Alyssa, today it's going to be one of the warmest days we've seen <laughs> in how long? Months. It will. Yeah, this is kind of my pick of the seven day right now. We've got temperatures that are going to be heading into the low 50s here soon. We're starting off this morning mild temperatures. Yeah, they're freezing right now in Indianapolis, but hey, that's close to 10 degrees warmer than it should be for some of our locations for, as far as low temperatures go. So it's not too bad outside right now and it's going to get even warmer from here. We're pulling in some warm air out of the south right now and that's going to help these 32 degree numbers go into the low 50s later on. So we've got a nice warm up headed our way before a big cool down in that winter storm. 26 degrees is what it feels like outside at the moment. So it does feel a little cooler with a wind chill. But overall, temperatures are not bad this morning. You can see we're lit up here in blue and pink. That means we're looking at a winter storm watch to the south and a winter storm warning to the north. And that's going to be in effect for Wednesday morning all the way through the day Wednesday. Now we'll have a brief dry break on Wednesday late in the day, and we're going to time that out here for you in just a minute. And then we get into Thursday and more snow showers pick up, and it looks like we get some pretty significant snowfall out of this over a foot of snow for some people. Not out of the question. Satellite and radar right now shows us dry, so that typical calm before the storm that you talk about it's it's a real thing and that's what we're seeing later today. We will get some rain showers here later on, but it's going to take us a while. It's going to take us a while to see this get started, but once it does, it's going to be uh, pretty threatening as far as rain, snow and ice go for us for the next couple of days. 32 in Indianapolis. We got some warm air just southwest of us and we're going to be tapping into that later today. So we're pulling in warm south there. It's going to also bring in a lot of moisture and then a high pressure system northwest of us is actually going to be pushing down super cold air. So that's where our cooler temperatures and snow showers are going to come from these next couple of days. We're going to be timing all of that out for you so you will know exactly what you need to know for that winter storm forecast to be prepared. Now we're to Justin to see what's going on on the roads. Hey, good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Central Indiana. Yeah, typically this is the calm before the storm. Nothing for you to worry about as you're heading out the door this morning, but let's take a look anyway. This is something that caused people a little bit of trouble yesterday. There's this pattern shift, a new one, along the uh, 465 here eastbound I 70 from southbound I 65 you'll be redirected onto Lewis Street Bridge on temporary lanes. There were two crashes that happened here yesterday uh, near this shift. Let's take you out on the roadways here. Nothing for you to contend with. Nothing slowing drivers down as those traffic volumes do increase. If you're headed out to the airport, you should have no trouble getting there on time. We are tracking about four delayed departures right now, but otherwise things should be smooth sailing for you out the door this morning. We'll have another look in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, there, Justin, thank you. 533, let's get to our news and headlines here happening today. Indianapolis officials will host a news conference where they're talking about how the city is preparing for this incoming winter storm and what you'll need to expect out there on the roads. Important information. CBS Sports Lindsay Stone is live downtown with more on today's meeting. Lindsay, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Nick. Well, as you just mentioned, a big press conference happening today. Mayor Joe Hogsett, IMPD, 
Also, the Department of Public Works and the National Weather Service all coming together today for a press conference to urge Hoosiers to plan ahead for these winter conditions heading our way. And while these conditions aren't going to hit until the next 48 hours, there is a lot that you can do right now to prepare. Homeowners can do a few things to get their home ready for these conditions. That includes clearing your gutters and putting down treatment on your sidewalk and driveway. If you plan to run to the grocery, grab water, non-perishable foods, and stock up on your medications. We also can take steps now in the home by making sure that we have extra blankets. Um, you know, we're probably not going to be able to use those nice space heaters and do not use gas powered appliances like your oven to heat uh, your home. You must have things as you should always be prepared if you were to have an interruption in power, whatever that looks like, to make sure that you've got chargers for your necessities like a cell phone that might work on battery. And it's also recommended to clear fire hydrants at least three feet in every direction. Pruitt says it helps save time for crews and the event of a house fire emergency. Now, today's press conference is at 2 p.m. at the Department of Public Works building. We will be streaming that later today, and we'll also have more updates from that meeting coming up in our evening broadcast tonight. I also want to mention we're going to continue to bring you more tips on surviving this winter weather, how you can prepare your home and protect your family coming up in an hour from now. Reporting downtown, Lindsay Stone, CBS 4 News. All right, Lindsay, thank you. The Indianapolis Department of Public Works is also preparing every vehicle in its fleet for the storm. Again, it could dump freezing rain, heavy snow. Officials say they'll be unable to treat the roads until after the rain stops falling. So we can't actually get out onto the roads until after all of that rain stops um, because we can't. It's pointless to lay material um, while it's raining because it's just going to wash away. Um, so the on Wednesday, it's going to be probably a little pretty slick um, in some pretty dangerous conditions. So I want to warn people about that ahead of time. Now, experts say the most two important things you can do right now is to check your tire pressure and check your tire treads. Beyond that, how you drive on those tires matters as well. When you're driving in inclement weather, just, you know, stay consistent. Don't make any erratic moves. Don't accelerate fast. Don't brake fast. Try not to turn sharply, just slow and easy. You can stay aware, weather aware by downloading our free Indy Weather Authority app. It has a live look at our Guardian Radar and hourly forecast for your area. It's available now on your favorite app store. Take it slow. Yeah, it's going to be a couple days before we're in the clear, right? Almost 537 right now. Some small central Indiana hospitals are hoping that more employees get the COVID vaccine before a federal vaccine mandate goes into effect. Employees at facilities that get Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements need to have their first dose by February 14th and their second dose by March 15th. Franciscan Health and Columbus Regional officials don't know how many unvaccinated employees they have on staff. Johnson Memorial Health officials said 160 of its employees or about 18% of the hospital's workforce are technically not in compliance right now. I worry a lot. It does keep me up at night of trying to fill some of these mission critical positions. If we're, we're left really to the last minute trying to decide how are we going to staff, not just the nurses, um, those type of positions, but it's lab, it's environmental service, it's, it's nutritional services. These are just as important to the operations. The Indiana Hospital Association said hospitals that impose their own vaccine deadlines have seen a big rush of people getting vaccinated. Well, local health experts are now weighing in on the new sub variant of the coronavirus called BA2. It tells CBS4 it's one and a half times more transmissible than Omicron. It hasn't been given an official Greek letter name yet because it's not a variant of concern yet. They worry the BA2 strain could drag out this latest surge or cause a slight hitch in the downward trend of cases. We have not yet detected it in Indiana. However, this new variant has a, uh, a feature about it which makes it a little bit harder to detect, which is why it's sort of known as the stealth Omicron. Indiana health officials sequence randomized samples of COVID-19 for variants, so this has not yet been detected in the Hoosier state, as you heard him say. Early research, though, shows the new variant does not appear to cause more severe disease and that current vaccines are effective against it. Dr. Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA commissioner, says in some cases it looks like it may be even more effective against this variant than the original strain of Omicron. Let's hope so. A Brownsburg woman is frustrated after she said Brownsburg police went to her house three times looking for her son, who's already and has been in the Marion County Jail.
Rochelle Kennedy's son, Nathan Spears, has been locked up there since early December. In early January, he missed a court appearance in Hendricks County. Again, that was because he was already locked up and it led to a warrant for his arrest. Kennedy said Brownsburg police went to her home twice on January 4th, then again on the 29th, looking for her son. All three times she told them he was at the Marion County Jail. On that January 29th trip, she said officers searched her house with their weapons drawn. Her seven-year-old grandson was there at the time as well. Kennedy told CBS4 she wasn't able to prove her son was at the Marion County Jail because his name was taken out of the inmate lookup when he was transferred to a new facility. You now the kids have been through enough. And, you know, if there was some communication between these departments, if there if Marion County was doing their due diligence, then all the other departments would know where my son is and these kids wouldn't have to witness any more of this. Both Brownsburg Police and Marion County Sheriff's Office were not available for an interview. MCSO did add Spears' name back into the inmate lookup system after CBS4 pointed out that he was not in the system. All right, it's Tuesday, February 1st. Happening today, the Indianapolis Zoo will sell tickets to this year's Zubilation Party. We're hearing tickets will go on sale at 9 a.m. We do know they typically sell out within minutes. Zubilation is the largest single-day fundraiser for the Indianapolis Zoo. All right, fears over 5G cell towers near airports appears to be subsiding. Yeah, that's right. The FAA grounded dozens of flights last week due to potential interferences. Coming up, though, why the agency is now getting giving the all clear and the IRS is warning they're understaffed right at the start of tax season too. the problems the agency is facing and how it could affect your tax filing when well, your dog walking forecast today actually not a bad one for it we have the calm before the storm so things are going to be dry for most of the day temperatures not bad I think your pup's gonna like it and hey this is pinwheel so very cute picture he just wants a home and uh, this is courtesy of the Indianapolis Animal Care Services Pinwheel loves to explore and sniff around. The champion at agility running and smart and treat motivated. Aren't we all kind of treat motivated? Hey, you can go down the pinwheel today. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Only. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations so you can fight back. Our team will listen to you, dig into our resources, and uncover the truth about who's cutting corners, who's hiding their past, and who could be walking away with your money. Fight back. Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations at cbs4indy.com or by calling the number on your screen. Sky 4 is powered by Fiesel Windows Roofing and Home Exteriors. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, that moment when we see a patient smile is everything to us. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we're here to help you. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. With FanDuel, you can bet $5 and win 280 cash on either team to win the Super Bowl. So, Lady Luck, yes ma'am, can take a vacation. Ma'am, yeah, I'm just going to check your pockets here real quick. Mm -mm. Oh, it's only three ounces. Making the Super Bowl your luckiest day ever. Mine too, buddy boy. New customers can bet $5 and win 280 cash on either team to win the Super Bowl. Only on FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Can you save water running a less than full dishwasher? You bet. We do it every night. Like clockwork. Cascade Platinum in a certified dishwasher uses less than four gallons of water per cycle, while a running sink uses that every two minutes. So do it with Cascade, because even small loads save water. Got lingering odors? Grab Febreze Small Spaces. Press firmly to activate, and Small Spaces continuously eliminates and prevents odors to freshen up any small room for up to 45 days. Febreze. La, 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 la. The Tom Wood Group cares about the Indianapolis community through our support of the American Cancer Society, To Make a Wish, Riley Hospital, the Humane Society, and more. Tom Wood is in it with you. In family, service, and community. 
the Suburban Indie Home and Outdoor Living Show. February 11th through 13th at Grand Park in Westfield. I just had a friend direct message me and say, how can you work in media? It's so negative. There's so much bad news. And I messaged her back and said, there's always more good news than bad. And I think that at News Nation, we have the opportunity to show more positivity. As a veteran, I cannot hear the national anthem and not get it. That's not a bias. Oh, That's being American. When you have something like Morning in America to wake up to, you can guarantee that you're not only going to leave more informed, but you're going to leave more inspired. Weekday mornings on News Nation. 544 is your time right now and for your money this morning. Tax season is officially underway and experts think this year will be more stressful than usual. We're just full of good news here today. The IRS has already warned it's dealing with a significant backlog of returns from last year. It's also understaffed following a wave of retirements and budget cuts. The National Taxpayer Advocate released a report showing the IRS received 282 million phone calls from taxpayers last year, but the agency was only able to answer about 11% of those calls. The IRS isn't going to be able to answer as many of those calls as it should be able to. We know that that's going to be hugely frustrating for taxpayers in a complex filing season in the middle of a pandemic. The agency advises you to file electronically and sign up for direct deposit. They say that's your best shot at getting your refund quicker. And I also like to follow the IRS model of only answering about 11% of my <laughs> phone calls and text messages. Right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. The Federal Aviation Administration has cleared the way for two of the largest cellular carriers to build more 5G service towers near airports. It means Verizon and AT&T can build towers without interference to airplanes. The FAA grounded dozens of flights last week concerned that the service would affect radio altimeters. The service launched January 19th. The companies agreed twice to delay the service around key airports. All right, let's go ahead and get a check of our forecast. It's on the top of everyone's mind this morning, Alyssa, this storm, and it's been it's been hard to nail down. I know that, but right now we're looking at rain, ice, and significant snowfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly right. So really a big concern here. We haven't had a lot of snowfall yet this season. We're more than a 14 inch deficit as far as snowfall goes on the season for this winter. So that's going to change as we head into the overnight hours for Wednesday and for Thursday. We're going to add a good amount of snow on top of this. Plus, it's going to be a major ice event as well. So this is going to impact travel. It's going to make things pretty messy outside. Right now, 32 degrees in Indianapolis. We're looking at partly cloudy skies. Feels like 26 outside. So we got a wind going out of the south at 7 miles an hour, pulling in a warm south breeze. But this big winter system is the next big thing. So what we know about this, a multi-day system, we're looking at it getting started tonight with some light rain showers and warming temperatures and we know things are going to warm up and then all of a sudden we snap to colder weather. There's going to be something going on. There's going to be some friction, some air masses competing for our space and to and to try to hang out and, and win out. And so what that happens when they battle on the border like that, we get some crazy weather from it. We're going to be looking at mixed precipitation. So freezing rain certainly possible as temperatures drop. We get some warm air up north or up aloft and then it drops and all of a sudden it hits cold surfaces and then it freezes on contact. So we actually have a little dry break in in this system, that's not going to be great because temperatures will be dropping. And it'll be just enough time to freeze things over and have a nice glaze before more snow gets added on, added on top of it. So right now we're looking at dry weather. Temperatures are in the low to mid 30s. We got winter storm watches and advisories out for Wednesday morning on through Thursday night. That's when the biggest impact is going to be Wednesday morning to Thursday night. Satellite and radar right now now looking cloudy. And we're going to continue to add clouds on top of that 32 degrees in Indianapolis, some warmer air southwest of us and the south breeze that we're looking at right now is going to help push in some of that warm air to us. So that's what's going to get us into those low 50s today. Over the next couple of hours, here's what it looks like. We stay dry for the most part today. It's not until about what 5 p.m. that we finally get some rain showers north and west of us, but most of us still going to be dry for most of the day. So it's not going to be bad. If you have not done your last minute preparations for this winter storm, today is a good day to do it. You still have time to get out there before this storm hits 1 a.m. Things start to change, so we see this rain dip further south, and now we've got a rain to snow mix on top of that and snow showers to the north. So that's where the snow gets started. All of a sudden we've got freezing rain, mixed precipitation, sleet. It's going to be icy and it's going to be dangerous. And then we go on to 10 a.m. Now we're seeing more snowfall pulled further south. Still a thin band of rain to snow mix and then rain showers to the south. Now temperatures are starting to drop, so the rain showers that we're looking at here 
here aren't going to be quite as innocent because when they hit a freezing surface, they're going to freeze on contact. That can have a lot of implications as far as the roads go. Of course, it's going to be icy and slippery. Think about power lines. Whenever that rain hits a power line and it's freezing, that can snap so easily if wind just picks up a little bit of a breeze can snap that power line. So that's why we're talking about power outages also being a concern with this storm. 4 p.m. Wednesday, we've got mostly snow showers to the north and then this dry break we talked about. This is going to be interesting for the storm because this is 1130 p.m. for Wednesday evening. Now temperatures are going to be falling. So what's already fallen, the precip we've already gotten is now going to freeze over and then we get right back to it into Thursday. We add more snow showers on top of that and this is where it looks like we get our heaviest snowfall accumulations. That's why we're talking about potentially for Indianapolis 8 to 12 inches. Now this could change. We're still going to keep monitoring this as we look at the temperature profile and see how this evolves in the next couple of days. We're looking at low 50s today for this afternoon high temperature and then a huge cold break happens as we get this winter storm moving through these next two days. Hey, we're going to tap into one of those points that Alyssa just made there that rain to snow. How dangerous that will be, especially out on the roads. Now we do know that INDOT is trying their very best to make sure that things are going to go smooth for you when this weather comes, but know that roads may go untreated. They can't lay down that pre treatment. If it's raining, it'll just get washed away. And then as Alyssa mentioned, it'll quickly freeze and be covered with snow. So definitely be prepared, drive slow, and don't go out if you don't have to. It's as simple as that. Now, what are we expecting out on the roads right now this morning? Things are moving really smoothly for you, so enjoy that. Take that time to stock up on some of the things you don't have. Get a full tank of gas. You can see right now uh, nothing to slow you down out there this morning, and that is being widely reflected across central Indiana. People are driving even above those posted speed limits. What do things look like out at I-69 right now? Let's take a look. Yes, once again, free and clear. Have a good morning out there. We'll see you in again in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin. Hey, thank you. Hey, if you have an iPhone, uh, you're going to notice some new emojis later this year. The additions are part of the latest iOS update. They were first unveiled by Emoji Encyclopedia. Emojipedia last summer, uh, some of the new ones include a melting face, heart hands, beans, because we need those, a troll, and bubbles. And I've got about a rotation of four emojis I've used since 2017. I just keep those in heavy rotation. Same. There's some time. there's some interesting ones. Yeah. Uh, there's some interesting ones. Out. I never get through all of them. Only, you have the top four. That's the ones I use there. <laughs> yeah. which, so which are they? So they're the the, the laughing one, like the tears okay. coming down, right? Mm -hmm. The 100 emoji. Mm. Um, the, like, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know which one I like is the, is, I don't even know what face it is. I kind of always thought it was like, a, I don't know face, but yeah, like, that well, one. Yeah. that's a I good description. That, that's, great. That that's great. That's great. The, and the heart eyes, I use those as well. Yeah, We're winning an Emmy today, we folks. Are. This All is right. award winning TV right <laughs> 552. here. 5.52. The Bidens now have a first cat. They welcomed Willow to the White House last week. The first lady named Willow after her hometown, Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. The cat is two years old. She's actually a farm cat from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Apparently she made quite the impression on Dr. Jill Biden in 2020 when she jumped up on stage and interrupted some of her remarks during a campaign stop. Seeing their immediate bond, the owner of that farm knew that Willow belonged with the Bidens. A lot of people excited about that. I wonder how the dogs are taking to her. A new survey is out and now it's revealing people's favorite TV shows. I'm sure we're going to hear plenty from Nick on this. According to YouTube TV and one poll, 43% of Americans said Friends was the best show of all time. Could they be any more right? The 90s sitcom barely edged out Seinfeld, which had 40% of the vote. Game of Thrones, Frasier, and The Office and Nash were all listed as other top favorites. Americans also said the 80s and 90s were the best decades for television. That I agree with. Yeah, I give you that. I give you that. How I Met Your Mother Better Than Friends, but whatever. We're not going to get into it right now. You know, I, the not. only one I don't think I was ever a fan of was Frasier. I, so I've never seen an episode of Frasier. I've also never seen an episode of Seinfeld either. I love, can't even say I'm surprised. I do love Curb Your Enthusiasm, yeah. though, with Larry David. That is Anything Larry David good. touches uh, is pretty it's, good. It's so. absolute gold. Yeah, love that. IU Athletic Facilities are saying goodbye to a longtime public address announcer. That's right. Chuck Crabb is retiring after 45 years with his school ahead. The reason behind this sudden departure, that's coming up. And right now, Domino's wants to give you money, all for picking up a pizza. The reason behind a unique deal. That's new at 6 o'clock.
Hi, I'm Larry Janeski, owner of Basement Systems of Indiana. Over the last 33 years, my company has repaired 75,000 wet basements, moldy crawl spaces, cracked foundations, and humidity and mold problems. Call Basement Systems of Indiana, the all things basement tea company. This winter, Comcast Business is helping Team USA and businesses across America stay ahead. Keep yours ahead too, with reliable connectivity and secure solutions on the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses and get access to over 20 million Wi-Fi hotspots from coast to coast. So no matter what big event comes up, your team can be ready for what's next. Get started with internet and voice for $35 each a month when you buy both. Plus, ask how to get free installation and one month free. American Family Insurance filmed a commercial featuring real dads and their kids. No scripts, just family. Because nothing speaks louder than that. Press, press, press. Time to say our prayers. Theo, Theo, Theo. <laughs> Are you ready to say your prayers? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, wow. Guess what? You get two kisses. Uh oh. <laughs> If you are injured or disabled, you may be entitled to receive disability benefits. Whether you are applying for the first time or have already been denied, we can help at any stage, even federal court. Let our attorneys deal with Social Security for you and help you get the benefits that you deserve. We'll talk to you for free and we only get paid if we win your case. It is too important to wait. Call or text us right now. Let our family at the Hankey Law Office help your family. Change your view and upgrade your living space with a new Champion sunroom. Right now, Champion sunrooms are 30% off. Enjoy more space with a new Champion sunroom, custom built to fit your lifestyle. Call now or visit championsunrooms.com to see which sunroom is right for you. 555, it's time for sports. The search is on for the Colts' newest defensive coordinator. CBS Sports' Chris Whitlick has more on who's on the short list and why they may have their work cut out for them. Good morning. The fifth-ranked Indiana women's basketball team returned from a two-week COVID hiatus and lost their first Big Ten game. Sixth-ranked Michigan jumped out to a big lead, beats IU 65-50 in Ann Arbor to take over first place in the conference race. Ladies and gentlemen, your Indiana Hoosiers! Oh, the familiar tones of Chuck. Crab, IU's longtime public address announcer at Assembly Hall, announced his retirement yesterday, effective immediately. Crab, who also managed IU athletic facilities, spent 45 years behind the microphone introducing players and most famously turning the word sophomore into three sweet syllables, sophomore. The 73 IU grad told me on the phone today he's healthy, feels great, but is ready to spend more time with his family. Chuck, you will indeed be missed. Well, the Colts coaching search is running full throttle. Not only do they need a defensive coordinator, but the new hire will have at least three, maybe four other defensive staff openings to fill. Here's what we know through our Colts insider Mike Chappell and the Indy Star. They've already interviewed longtime coordinator Jim Schwartz, now with the Titans. They've also spoken with Joe Cullen, current D.C. with the Jaguars, and Washington defensive backs coach Chris Harris. This week, they'll interview current Raiders D.C. Gus Bradley, Dallas defensive backs coach Joe Witt Jr. and Saints DB coach Chris Richards. And don't be surprised to see a hire by week's end before the Super Bowl hoopla in Los Angeles gets off and running. That's it for sports. I'm Chris Woodlick. We'll see you again tonight. All right, Chris, thank you. New this morning, a judge just sentenced the IMPD officer who punched a student at an Indianapolis school. Yeah, you may remember this. It was all caught on camera detailing the officer's most recent punishment, the possible repercussions still to come. A big step in the coronavirus crisis this morning. If the FDA approves that kids as young as six months old could get Pfizer's COVID vaccine, what is asking from federal health officials today that experts say could change the game. Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. The car you want, the way you want. The way I want means trusting that I'm getting the best car for my needs. And it means getting a reliable car that I can afford. Find the car you want, the way you want at TomWood.com. 
Learn how to remodel your home like a pro from DIY Network's Jeff Devlin. Win daily prize giveaways. Experience Kids Day on Sunday. Featuring princesses, science experiments, magic, and more. The Suburban Indie Home and Outdoor Living Show. February 11th through 13th at Grand Park in Westfield. <laughs> Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Bus Stop Forecast is brought to you by EverDry Waterproofing. You can't turn the channel just yet. Angela has some great information coming up in this next segment. How do you know that? I just do. Keep watching CBS4 this morning. Live from CBS4, this is your news now. DPW has already started um, preparing for what is going to head our head our way. It's going to be probably a little pretty slick um, in some pretty dangerous conditions. Happening now, central Indiana is getting ready for the biggest winter storm so far this season. The winter weather system quickly approaching. We expect rain, ice, and snow. CPS4 is your weather authority. What you need to know before it all hits our area. Local health system speaking out about a federal vaccine mandate for workers where local facilities stand ahead of the deadline. Using gifts and talents to help others. One man is on a journey to change the perception of his neighborhood. I'm Eric Winter and coming up, I've got his story and how he's hoping it'll help. But first, it's six o'clock on this Tuesday morning. Thank you for joining us here on CBS4. I'm Nick Lugan. And I'm Angela Brower. Let's get right to it and check on our weather right now. Not too bad, not Alyssa, too bad. but boy, things are going to change. Yeah, yeah it's going to look a lot different here come tomorrow morning. So we are going to start this thing off with some rain showers late tonight, and that's going to transition probably while most of you are sleeping into a wintry mix, waking up to some snow showers to the north. So right now things are calm. Downtown Indianapolis, 31 degrees. Temperatures are still dropping into that early morning low. Feels like 24. We got a breeze out of the south, seven miles an hour. That's about to pick up here, too. We're we're going to have winds gusting pretty heavily here by the end of the day up to 20 miles an hour and increasing into the next couple of days. Our temperatures all in the low and mid 30s. We do have that winter storm watch here and everything in the blue and then everything in the pink that winter storm warning. So we're expecting more of the snow showers to the north, but we are looking at a big rain, snow and ice event these next couple of days. It does get started off with light rain showers today, so it's a little calm ease into it. And then Wednesday and Thursday are going to be pretty hazardous as far as road travel conditions and potential power outages. Right now, looking at the satellite and radar at dry weather in not just this regional view, but across the country, it's almost eerily dry and we're not looking at a whole bunch of activity. You might see a few snowflakes out here. This is all ahead of this big system that's going to be moving through for Wednesday morning into Thursday night, which is when those winter weather watches are in effect. 31 degrees right now in Indianapolis. Winds are out of the south right now, so that's going to be pulling in some warm and moist air. We're going to tap into some of that heat that's just southwest of us, and temperatures are going to be heading to the low 50s today. That's ahead of a big cool down. Plus, we got temperatures that are going to be going into the 20s these next couple of days with this winter storm. As we've been mentioning, it's a literal calm before the storm this morning. CBS 4 is getting ready for that incoming storm. If you need any last minute items, this is your chance. You want to head to the store today. Local hardware stores are already seeing a rush for supplies. Sullivan's Hardware expects its busiest times will be about 8 o'clock this morning and then again about 5 o'clock this evening. So before and after work, people are buying shovels and sleds, but most of all, salt. Really mainly right now they're doing salt because they are saying that we're going to get ice first and then the snow. You'll likely want to hold off on salting until after that rain passes through. Otherwise, it'll just wash away. Now, as we mentioned, CBS4 does have teen coverage this morning. That's right. DPW is gearing up for the storm as well. Warning, it could be a messy few days out there on the roads. Let's check in right now as CBS4's Justin Kolar. Justin, right now, not too bad. No, guys, as we've been saying all morning long, this is the calm before the storm. So get to those hardware stores, get the stuff done that you need to do before the time that this all comes. And if you've been listening, you know that that is coming only a couple hours away. Now we do have some important information. I know we've been talking about this, but we're going to continue to stress it. We're tracking that rain to snow mix. So realize that many area roads are going to go untreated. So you got to be prepared, drive slow and importantly, don't go out if you don't have to. 
It's important to know to pack a car kit, get that full tank of gas, water, snacks, some kitty litter to get you out of a tight spot if you're slipping and sliding, and a phone charger wouldn't hurt either. Know before you go, check the forecast, and importantly, tell someone where you're going and when you'll arrive. Again, we're not following any uh, incidents out there this morning right now. Things are free and clear, so again, get that stuff done while you can right now. We will see you again in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, thank you, Justin. Hey, new this morning, police are investigating a three car crash that happened on Fall Creek Parkway. Officers responded about 1245. They said two cars were headed east when a third car tried to turn onto College Avenue, and this was the result a crash and a chain reaction. One woman went to the hospital. She is now said to be stable. IMPD is also investigating another deadly shooting here in Indianapolis. A man was shot and killed on the northeast side Monday near 46th in Arlington. Now, this is the 18th homicide so far this year. Detectives are urging anyone with any information about this to report it. State health officials just reported nearly 4,000 new coronavirus cases statewide. For the first time in weeks, the weekly positivity rate is under 30%. Hospitalizations are also trending downward. About 2,700 Hoosiers are fighting COVID in the hospital right now. Well, smaller hospitals are hoping more of their employees will get vaccinated before against COVID-19 before a federal vaccine mandate takes deadline in a few weeks. That federal mandate will require employees at health care facilities that receive Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements to have that first dose by February 14th. While many hospitals and health networks have had their own vaccine requirements in place for months, others are waiting to enforce the federal rules. Officials at Johnson Memorial Health said 160 employees are not in compliance right now. They may have to be let go after February 14th. That's about 18% of the hospital's workforce. I worry a lot. It does keep me up at night of trying to fill some of these mission critical positions if we're, we're left really to the last minute trying to decide how are we going to staff. Officials at Franciscan Health and Columbus Regional are gathering information on how many unvaccinated employees they have. Hancock Regional had a couple hundred employees get vaccinated before its December 31st deadline. Today kicks off Black History Month, and this morning a local man is using music to change the perception of his community. The founder and director of the Post Road Music School, Eugene Strader Jr., brings more than 50 years of experience as a musician. CBS 4's Eric Pointer is live in the newsroom with his story. Eric, why is this so important to him? So because he grew up in this community, he's from here and he wants people to have positive thoughts when they think of the Post Road area. Music has taken Eugene Strader Jr. to many places. He's played alongside some really huge legends like Al Green and gospel icon Shirley Caesar. He also joined the Marine Corps Band and played all over the world. He says that music has the power to change lives like it did for him, and that's what he wants the new school to do for the Post Road community. And it's an avenue for people in the neighborhood and the community to learn something new, to get something new under their belts instead of all the violence and all the negativity that's going on around the community. Eugene says the first lesson is free and then they can work out cost after that. He doesn't want price to be a barrier for someone to take lessons. And he says that you never know where the students could end up from his school. Some of them already have some pretty big goals. Nick. All right, Eric, thank you. Hey, tickets to one of the biggest events of the summer go on sale in just a couple hours. Zubilation is the largest single day fundraiser for the Indianapolis Zoo. Tickets go on sale at 9 o'clock this morning. They typically sell out in just a few minutes. The event is June 10th. This year's theme will be rocking with the roos to celebrate the zoo's new red kangaroos. Perfect time to be thinking about that as well as we get this impending winter storm <laughs> yeah. to always flash forward to what is usually the hottest day of the year next to the Indy 500. Right. It's superlation. It doesn't always. matter what day it's doesn't matter what day it is. It's it, always it, the hottest It could be December day. 4th. It'll be the hottest day of the year. <laughs> Guaranteed. 607, a major mix-up sent officers, police officers, to a Hendricks County woman's house multiple times. Yeah, they're looking for someone who was already in jail. They were in the backyard. Um, and on the side yard and all around our house. What led to the confusion that's coming up? And new this morning, a Georgia prosecutor is asking the FBI for security help after some comments former President Donald Trump made at a rally. Why the former president is promising the biggest protest ever in major cities nationwide. Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. FBI.
find the motive, use it to get this guy before he strikes again. Let's go, people. Clock is ticking. Get out of the car and put your hands up. Now. I want to know exactly what dangers I'm leading my team into. We have to work together out here, as long as it doesn't get us killed. The FBI is who I am. The FBI's are all new. Tonight, starting 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. Is price inflation costing you way more now for food, shelter, and basic expenses? Is paying credit cards and high debt now getting harder? I'm attorney Peter Francis Geraci. Call Geraci Law to see about Chapter 7 or 13 to eliminate or consolidate as low as $275 a month. On your phone, from your home, or old school in person. Zero down to start. Hit the debt free button. Click or call now. So with GEICO, we can easily bundle home and car insurance and save even more? Yeah, home, car, motorcycle, all bundled together. Just like that breakfast burrito. So can I get chorizo? Uh, yeah, uh, metaphorically, yeah. Carnita. Just chicken. Just give me a bunch of chicken. Oh, bacon? Uh, oh, wait, there isn't too much hot sauce, is there? I have a sensitive palate. I actually like hot sauce. Can I get chips? How about guacamole? I don't really know what we're talking about anymore. Burritos. <laughs> OK. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Floor and decor, my go-to to get it all. Tile, wood, stone, and laminate, they've got it. Installation materials, yep, and all the tools I need, they've got those too. More importantly, they've got my back with benefits and services I actually want and a pro app that makes my job easier. Floor and decor just gets it. That means I get more done. At Floor and Decor, whether you're looking for everyday low pricing on in-stock job lock quantities and installation materials or a powerful partner to help take your business to the next level, we've got you covered. Discover Floor and Decor today. Did you know trading in your car at a dealer could cost you money? A recent study found consumers who trade in their car pay an average of $990 more. So don't trade in. Sell it to We Buy Any Car. Learn more and get your free online valuation now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Find out how much your car's worth at WeBuyAnyCar. People today, they could spend half their lives over 50, but it's going to take some planning. What can you do for me? Make sure your money lives as long as you do. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join today. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. Get CBS4 weather updates on the go by listening to 1045 WJJK, Indy's classic hit station. 611 is your time right now. Today, Secretary U U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to speak with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, hoping to cool the rising tension in Eastern Europe. Now, U.S. officials say Russia has positioned about 100,000 troops near Ukraine. The U.S. and its NATO allies have been warned for weeks that President Vladimir Putin could invade Ukraine as early as February. The U.N. Security Council held a meeting Monday to discuss a standoff. President Biden warned Russia that it will face swift and severe consequences if they attack. With Russia's continuing its buildup of its forces um, around Ukraine, we are ready no matter what happens. Putin has denied any interest in invading. During a meeting of the U.N. Security Council, Russia's U.N. ambassador blamed the U.S. for pro provoking escalation. A Georgia prosecutor is asking the FBI for security assistance after former President Donald Trump's rally Saturday. There he lashed out at prosecutors who were investigating his business dealings and his conduct after the 2020 election. Radical, vicious, racist prosecutors do anything wrong or illegal. I hope we are going to have in this country the biggest protest we have ever had in Washington, D.C., in New York, in Atlanta.
Republicans and Democrats hammered Trump for suggesting he would offer pardons to convicted January 6th rioters if elected again by dangling the prospect of pardons they believe Trump has complicated future negotiations. Boy, the East people are digging out and cleaning up two days after a huge winter storm. Several school districts there either canceled classes or started late Monday. Officials were concerned the mounds of snow made it unsafe for kids to get to class. Remember, in one town they got 30 inches yep of snow there. So that's understandable. Wow. School's a little bit delayed there. <laughs> 613 is your time right now in New York City. One man has no fear. No, he doesn't. The barely dressed Times Square performer proved the show must go on despite that powerful snowstorm. The street artist known as the Naked Cowboy braved this weekend's winter blast wearing nothing but his signature underwear, boots and hat. Robert Burke kept his guitar playing gig at the famous New York City tourist spot. Manhattan got more than eight inches of snow on Sunday. As an NYC legend, you know, we gotta keep it going, I guess. I guess we wouldn't recommend good. that here. Yeah at all. Today's going to feel nice, but these coming days, Alyssa, it's going to be pretty messy out there. It is. You know, it's nice that we do have this little bit of a warm up. Temperatures going to the low 50s and we've got mostly dry weather ahead of this winter snowstorm. So what we're going to expect today is uh, some dry weather with some rain showers late in the evening. And this is what's really going to get things started because overnight we're going to see some of those early rain showers transition to a rain to snow mix with snow on the north end of this, but it's going to be slippery. Road conditions are going to be hazardous, so it's going to be hard to move around. That's why today you you want to get prepared as best as possible and maybe get some things that are going to be okay if the freezer goes out, if the power goes out and you can't keep food cold. Although you can just throw it outside and make it cooler outside. That's what I suggest you do. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing for the next couple of days. 31 degrees right now in Indianapolis. Right now things are dry. They're calm, partly cloudy skies. We're going to see clouds start to increase. It does feel like we are in the 20s though, so we do have a little bit of a wind chill on top of these pretty mild temperatures. Winter storm watches and warnings in effect right now, so that's going to be warm for early Wednesday morning into Thursday evening because today is going to be the calm day here and that's when things get going Wednesday morning. We're going to see that transition over to rain to snow mix as temperatures start to drop off because we know today's going to be warmer, but as temperatures do cool off, we're going to see some issues with any kind of light rain that does fall icing over and causing slick hazardous spots on the roadways. Satellite and radar is quiet. It's almost eerily quiet really because things are dry, not just here regionally, but across the country looking at dry weather right now. The small warm section of air southwest of us. We're actually going to get a little bit of that warmth headed our way. So notice how winds are pulling south air. That's going to do a couple of things. We're going to be pulling in some gulf moisture. So more moisture rain on the south end of this thing with warmer temperatures and then a high pressure system is going to be pushing down some cold air, allowing for snow showers on the north end of this system and where they meet in the middle is going to be that icy wintry mix that we've been talking about. So let's time this out and see what it looks like these next couple of hours. We stay dry. Partly cloudy skies start to form. We see rain showers to the north and west. This is 5 p.m., so most of us are still dry. We spend the whole day with temperatures warm into the low 50s and drying things out. Now 1 a.m., things start to change. We see this rain line move further south. Now we've got a band of pink there, which is going to be a mixed precipitation. So we're looking at sleet, freezing rain potential, and snow on the north end of this thing. By 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, things are going to start to get a little messier. So you'll notice the temperatures are going to be dropping. We have a bigger line, a bigger band of pink which means that's where it's going to get a little slick. And when it mixes over from rain on into snow showers, that's when you get some of that ice accumulation and it can get pretty dangerous in that zone right there. So snow showers to the north, that's where it's going to be the heaviest snowfall. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we got mostly snow now dipping south of I-70. We're kind of right on that line and it's going to be interesting. If you, if you have to use I-70 to travel, uh, you might want to just make some plans, rearrange some things because we are expecting a good amount of ice to build up there. On the south edge of this thing, we're still looking at rain showers but by this time, 4.30 p.m. Wednesday, temperatures are falling off. So when that happens and you get some rain to the south, areas like Bloomington, Columbus, looking at rain, freezing on contact to go to freezing rain. It's going to be interesting when we dry out briefly on Wednesday night, 11.30 p.m. This is going to give things a chance to just ice over before we add more snow showers on top of that. Early Thursday morning, 9 a.m., this thing starts back up again, and that's where we're going to get some of our heaviest snowfall. We're looking at 8 to 12 inches across the central band here and even higher to the north. So it's not out of the question that we could see 
a foot of snow after this snowfall deficit that we've had all winter season. 51 today for the high temperature, but look at that cold snap that's going to follow this winter storm. Temperatures are going to get frigidly cold as we head to the weekend. Justin. Hey, good morning, Alyssa. Yes, so much to be, take uh, into account of this morning, but right now things are moving pretty smoothly. Let's take you south to Martinsville where we have our first incident of the morning. Things are slowing down just a little bit here, about half a mile. The left lane is closed. Northbound Indiana 37 crews are working in the median and they will be there until 9 o'clock this morning. We've got a couple of back pocket tips for you. Pack a car kit today. Get a full tank of gas, water, snacks, get some kitty litter and pack your phone charger as well. And be sure to stay up to date with us here at CBS 4 to make sure you know what's going on and where our gas price is the cheapest. We've been telling you to fill up all morning long. Looks like if you're looking to save a couple pennies, head over to Brownsburg. That shell there is at 285. We'll have another look for you in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, the snow and ice on the way could create costly problems at home. Let's hope not. We'll show you how to get ready now and how you can avoid expensive damage once the storm hits. Yeah, plus Domino's is kicking up a unique deal for its customers. Why the pizza chain said it will pay you not to order delivery. Stick with us. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. Sky 4 is powered by Fiesel. Visit FieselInc.com for your free touch-free inspection. Shop Menards' full selection of over 7,000 interior lights. Find your style with Patriot Lighting's great selection of unique styles and finishes, like the Renly Collection with smoked crackle glass and a trendy black finish. If vintage industrial is more your style, the Samuel Lighting Collection comes in a bold bronze finish with clear glass shades that show off the vintage style bulbs. Just $149.99 for the five-light Samuel chandelier now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. This winter, Comcast Business is helping Team USA and businesses across America stay ahead. Keep yours ahead, too, with reliable connectivity and secure solutions on the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses. And get access to over 20 million Wi-Fi hotspots from coast to coast. So no matter what big event comes up, your team can be ready for what's next. Get started with internet and voice for $35 each a month when you buy both. Plus, ask how to get free installation and one month free. Tom Wood works. We are always in demand for hiring as we keep growing. You can go anywhere with the Tom Wood Company. It is like family coming to work. They believe in you. That's the biggest thing. Join the Tom Wood Group today. Go to TomWood.com slash careers. We strive to be there for our clients. They need us at some of their most trying times, and it means a lot to us to be able to be there for them uh, when they need us the most. That's really what we are after, is keeping the clients as happy as possible. We're able to offer them the best solutions in their home to be able to give them that true comfort experience. We are a very upstanding, dedicated company that's always going to do the right thing. The Suburban Indie Home and Outdoor Living Show, presented by GVC Mortgage, offers a great value with free parking and tickets for only $5 at SuburbanIndieShows.com. Hundreds of home improvement experts, thousands of ideas, and shopping for unique gifts, all under one roof. Learn how to remodel your home like a pro from DIY Network's Jeff Devlin. Win daily price giveaways. Experience Kids Day on Sunday, featuring princesses, superheroes, science experiments, magic, and more. The Suburban Indie Home and Outdoor Living Show. February 11th through 13th at Grand Park in Westfield. This segment sponsored by Prevagen, the number one pharmacist recommended memory support brand. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. 
Your time right now is 622. We have some new information about the ongoing battle on Spotify. Some musicians like Neil Young and Joni Mitchell forced Spotify to remove their songs from the service after they said podcast host Joe Rogan spread misinformation about COVID-19. In a blog post, Spotify CEO Daniel said that he does not want the service to become a content censor. Still, though, some musicians want more oversight. We're all for free speech. We just don't want to be associated with um, misinformation and lies that are killing Americans. The podcast host is also accused of spotlighting anti-vaccine guests. Spotify recently announced they are putting COVID content warnings on all podcasts that discuss the virus. Well, Domino's is trying something new right now. The company will now tip you for a carryout order. Pizza Chain will give customers a $3 credit for any carryout order. This is to avoid large delivery delays. Had Super Bowl Sunday, one of Domino's busiest days of the year. Now, the company says the deal only applies to online orders. The promotion runs through May 22nd. I'm, I'm hearing also that it may only apply to give you future orders, give you that money on a oh, future. Oh, yeah. Come so, on. Yeah, if, you're, if you're looking to break out there with some cash, don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Always a catch. Always right, a catch. and I wonder how much it is. Yeah. British authorities are looking for a convicted burglar. Jonathan Cahill violated his terms of parole, but thanks to social media, Cahill might have a little bit of a tough time not getting noticed. This photo posted by police, who it spread quickly online. A lot of women responding to, but not like officials expected. One said, quote, I hope he's not out in the cold. I have a spare room if he wants. Another chimed in, what's his crime? Breaking hearts or breaking houses. Okay, Hill's mugshot now has more than 7,000 comments under the police department's Facebook page. <laughs> hey, you know, you know. He uh, does have a strong jawline. It's very strong. Nice I, eyes. You know, yeah. Just a dangerous convicted uh, felon. Yeah, you know, just this guy who will rob you of all your things. That's all, you know. But hey, good luck out there for you guys. Okay, 624. Parents are getting really desperate. They're looking for baby formula, but they just can't find any. Yeah, it's a big problem, right? The CBS 4 Morning Show has confirmed there is a shortage nationwide and right here in Indiana. What's behind it? And what a local nutritionist says you should do if you can't find your baby's brand. Experts say preparation is key as central Indiana braces for winter weather to hit. I'm Lindsay Stone and coming up what you need to know to prepare your home and protect your family as we head into a winter season. Big trucks can cause big wrecks. Because of its size and massive weight, even a slow-moving truck like this can be dangerous. I'm attorney Daryl Isaac. I am America's big truck attorney. At Isaacs and Isaacs, we've recovered over a billion dollars for our clients, and we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So now I'm not just the attorney on the big truck, I'm the attorney on the big moving truck. Big truck wreck, we win.com. One call, that's all. Hi, we're OfferPad, and we want to buy your home. Getting your offer is easy. Just go to OfferPad.com, tell us about your home, and we'll send you a competitive offer. Why sell to OfferPad? Because it's a better experience. No showings, you pick the closing date, and we'll even move you locally for free. We know what your home means to you, so we're committed to being with you every step of the way. Your online home buyer with a human touch. We've helped thousands of happy home sellers, and we'd love to help you. OfferPad, request your free purchase offer today. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. Some enchanted indeed. Enchanted indeed, South Pacific. February 22nd, tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Basement Systems of Indiana. We're the all things basement tea company. Did you know that up to 50% of the air you breathe in your home comes through the basement? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. We'll transform your basement into a dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call Basement Systems of Indiana today for all things basement tea. If you're struggling with alcohol or drugs, Recovery Centers of America can help. At RCA, you'll be treated with compassion and dignity by our expert team of professionals while benefiting from specialized programs, 24-hour medical care, and outstanding facilities. 
RCA is in network with private insurance plans, and we will answer your call 24 seven and get you into inpatient or outpatient treatment as soon as today. Start your new year, start your new life today. Call now. With less moderate to severe eczema, why hide your skin if you can help heal your skin from within? Depixin helps keep you one step ahead of eczema with clearer skin and less itch. Hide my skin? Not me. Don't use if you're allergic to Depixin. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about Dupixin. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Sky 4 is powered by Fiesel. No need for a technician to come into your home. Lifetime warranty plus no payments for 12 months. Visit FieselInc.com. After 30 years of making quality furniture affordable and with tons of in-stock items, I'm asking more Bobs to help, like this Bob, Rob Schneider. This cottage chic sectional will beautify any home. Say you live in a bunker. Huh? It comes in many versatile setups. Say your house is haunted. A layer of Bobopedic memory foam provides added comfort. Say you're raised by wolves. With Bob's discount, you don't have to hunt for a good price. Okay, my parents are paying. Hey, hi guys. Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. Live from CBS4, this is your news now. Well, right now, we have a severe winter storm headed our way. Central Indiana is expecting rain, ice, a lot of snow, and with that, some dangerous driving conditions. Polar vortex is on its way. DPW has already started um, preparing for what is going to head our, head our way. We're seeing the weather, and we have to beef up on our order. CBS4 is your weather authority. We have team coverage, what you need to know, and how you can best prepare. Thanks so much for being with us here on your Tuesday morning, February 1st. I'm Angela Brower. Hey, and I'm Nick McGill. Lisa Andrews is standing by with a look at the weather in for KMAC this morning. And of course, today, we've said it maybe 50 times already, mm -hmm. the calm before the yes. storm. <laughs> Uh, but that's just an indication the storm is coming. It is, and it's a good thing that we do have this calm period because people are going to need it to get prepared, get out there if you have not already. It's going to be one of those things you do want to be prepared in advance for this because once the snow and the ice hits, it's going to be hard to move around because some of that ice could cause some power outages and just make things difficult to either travel around or, or get to where you need to be. 31 degrees right now in Indianapolis. Feels like 24. We do have a wind chill. Feels like we're in the 20s, but temperatures are going to warm up pretty well later into the afternoon. We go into the 50s, which is somewhere we haven't been in a minute. After a really warm December, things got pretty cold for January. Now we're going to see some of the warmest air here before things really get colder heading into the weekend and it'll freeze over any of the precept that we get from this storm system. So right now we're looking at a winter storm watch and a winter storm warning both in effect and it's going to be going from Wednesday morning all the way through the day Wednesday and into Thursday night. It's going to be a couple of days here. This system is going to take to pass through right now, though, dry conditions outside and it's a good thing for it because as temperatures warm up and things do stay dry ahead of this winter storm system it'll be a good time to get out there and get prepared and get what you need get some last minute items we've got some warm air southwest of us and that's actually going to come into play here as we continue to pull warm air out of the south slow pressure system is going to be pulling in warm gulf moisture we're going to be talking about what that's going to mean for us and also how a high pressure system is going to be pushing in some cold air too and the timing of this winter storm system we're going to time all that out for you and talk about the implications of that and how much snow we're expecting to get here. All right, we're continuing with some team coverage. Marion County officials holding a press conference today urging Hoosiers to plan ahead. CBS Sports Lindsay Stone is live downtown with what you need to know to protect your home and your family during the bitter blast. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning to you. Bitter blast is correct. Nick, this is why it's so important to plan ahead. Like most things in life, that's the message here is just think through your plan here and prepare ahead of time. That's why Mayor Joe Hogg said IMPD and DPW are teaming up with the National Weather Service for a press conference this afternoon to talk about what Hoosiers need to do to prepare for what's coming. Now, the meeting will be held at 2 p.m. at the Department of Public Work building. Officials are expected to share important reminders on safety, what the city is doing to prepare, and what to do in case of an emergency. Deputy Fire Chief of the Bargersville Fire Department, Michael Pruitt, says thinking ahead is important and preparation is in the outside of your home. That includes putting down treatment on your sidewalk and driveway. However, with rain, ice, and snow expected, Pruitt says timing is everything. As that transition starts to happen, 
over to the ice, that's probably when we want to put these, these surface materials down to help keep that ice melted. Uh, and then once the snow falls on top of that, it should help a little bit. Other steps you can take to prepare your home includes clearing your gutters and putting down treatment on your sidewalk and driveway. And if you plan to run to the grocery store, grab water, stock up on non-perishable foods and medications. And we also want to remind you that we have a CBS4 Weather Authority app. From there, you can check that Live Guardian radar. You can get push alerts to keep you informed all while we are monitoring these changing weather conditions. Reporting downtown, Lindsay Stone, CBS 4 News. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Let's get over to your traffic authority now. CBS 4's Justin Kolar keeping an eye on the roads right now. And Justin, it's not too bad right now, but again, that is going to change. No, it is deceptively calm out there right now, though we are tracking one incident to our south in Martinsville. We'll start there. Let's check this out here. The left lane is closed after a crash. Northbound Indiana 37 crews are working in the median from Fairview to Wicker. They're going to be there until 9 a.m. And you can see that orange little loop right there. That's about a half mile slowdown. So know that if you're coming into the city from the south, from Martinsville. Okay, we've been saying this all morning long. We're tracking that rain to snow. Realize that roads may go untreated because of this. They can't lay down that treatment like they normally would. It'll just get washed away. So be prepared. Drive slow. Don't go out if you don't have to. What do roads look like right now? Funny you should ask. Here we go. Things are looking really good out there. We don't have the fog that we had yesterday. We don't have any slick conditions, no precip out there. So cars are moving at those posted speed limits with no trouble. Now, if you happen to have two tickets to paradise and you're trying to get out of here, now is the time to do that. We're not tracking any delayed departures at the Indianapolis International Airport. Should be smooth sailing. If you have a last minute flight out of here, we'll have another look at your traffic for those staying put in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. And if you are staying put, you need to prep your car for that winter weather as well. The two most important things you can do right now is check your tire pressure and your tire tread. Any auto shop can measure your pressure and tell you how much to fill up the tires. For the tread, you can stick a penny right there in the tire tread. And if Abe Lincoln's head is covered, then you are good to go. Car experts say beyond that, it does matter how you drive on those tires. When you're driving in inclement weather, just, you know, stay consistent. Don't make any erratic moves. Don't accelerate fast. Don't brake fast. Try not to turn sharply, just slow and easy. Right now is also a good time to check your vehicle's fluids like oil and the coolant. Not a bad idea either to carry some extra coolant in your trunk along with a blanket and flashlight just in case you get stranded. Well, good stuff right there. 635 is your time right now. Memorial is growing in Carroll County. The community mourning the death of two sheriff's deputies killed in a crash last weekend. The memorial is outside the sheriff's office. It honors deputies Noah Rainey and jail deputy Dane Northcutt. The crash happened Saturday. Rainey and Northcutt were responding to a call from a Rossville deputy town marshal. For unknown reason, Rainey's cruiser left the road and hit a pole. Both of them died there at the scene. When um, these type of accidents happen, the officers are killed in the line of duty. It's very impactful uh, simply because, you know, in a small community, a rural community, um, you know, just about everybody knows everyone. The Sheriff's Association and the Indiana Sheriff's, we are a very tight-knit uh, group of elected officials that will rise and already have made some phone calls to the sheriff to help out any way we can and with their community. The cause of the crash is currently under investigation. Meanwhile, this morning we heard from Sheriff Tobe Lazenby. He released a statement saying in part, quote, the dedication of service to their fellow man was above and beyond. They displayed the heart and soul of the office of the Carroll County Sheriff. We stay the course and we'll see each other through this time. A Hendricks County woman is frustrated. She said police went to her house multiple times looking for her son, and he was at the Marion County Jail the entire time. If Marion County had done their job, then it would have been really easy and we wouldn't be dealing with it. Now that woman is sharing her story only with CBS 4. She called it a breakdown in communication. Rochelle Kennedy's son, Nathan Spears, has been in the Marion County Jail since early December. In early January, he missed a court appearance in Hendricks County, but again, he was already locked up at that point. That led to a warrant for his arrest. Kennedy said Brownsburg police went to her house twice on January 4th and again on January 29th looking for him. All three times she told officers he was in the Marion County Jail.
Yes, they said that they took everyone off that list because they were moving them and they didn't want anyone to know when they were moving them for safety issues. I mean, I can't be the only one. If they took my son off the list, there has to be other families that are dealing with the same thing. Both Brownsburg Police and the Marion County Sheriff's Office were not available for an interview. MCSO added Spears back into the inmate lookup system after CBS4 pointed out he was not on there. People in Irvington are coming together to make their neighborhood safer now. They're making changes near George Julian School 57, the same place where seven-year-old Hannah Crutchfield was killed while walking home from school last fall. DPW has added time for pedestrians to cross the road before cars get a green light. They also painted school markings on the road. We need to remember that as drivers that we need to be very aware of our surroundings and and those that are around us. So we can do a whole lot just by slowing down and paying attention. Next Monday, the City County Council will hear a proposal to create a no turn on red restriction in the intersection that has already been approved in committee. Now, Hannah's friends are honoring her memory as well, raising money to renovate the school playground. Her family said Hannah loves spending time outside with her friends. All right, your time right now is 638 happening now. Parents are running into a tricky and really frustrating problem. There's a formula shortage nationwide. This isn't something you can just shrug your shoulders at and choose something else. Some mothers can't or have chosen not to breastfeed. So if their babies are formula fed, doctors want those babies to stay on until at least a year old. That is their main source of nutrition. As they get older, babies need more and more formula throughout the day. If you're like me, you're going through at least one container of formula a day. But lately, families can't find what they need at the store, and they're not really knowing where to turn or what to do. Costco's, Costco online, Walgreens, Long's, can't find it anywhere. Once we do run out of this formula, what's going to happen if they're sold out? Nutritionists tell me if your baby is on a standard infant term formula, formula, they're likely going to do just fine switching, even if you end up going to an off name generic brand. Some babies, though, do need to be on a special dietary formula, and those are the ones that are really, really difficult to find. Those children may have a tougher time switching to a new makeup so suddenly. And then if they are on um, any sort of specialty formula or broken down formula, I would definitely recommend reaching out to your pediatrician and seeing what they recommend before going and buying what you think is the equivalent. We're told some of the shortages are related to procuring raw materials, that some of that is in production, some, is, some of it is packaging. There are also labor shortages in each of the factories, in transportation, and in store. So even if the formula is in the back of the retailer or in a warehouse, simply getting it off the shelves is delayed. Over the phone, Similac confirmed to me that it, like everything else, is experiencing a supply shortage, but the representative could not provide a timeline of when things would improve. The company did not respond to CBS News with an official statement. And for Mills maker, Reckitt said it has, quote, ample supply, but added sales are up 18%, which is more, by the way, than double birth rates. Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah. big problem. Didn't, as I mentioned before, I didn't even realize how big of a problem this is. But if you're a parent of a young child, you definitely know this right and now. And the prices are skyrocketing, too. So, oh, that's true. Tricky. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, 640 is your time right now. Still ahead, we have another 15 minutes of nonstop news, including local health officials continue testing for a new, more more contagious variant of COVID-19. Has it been detected in Indiana yet? It's possible that stealth Omicron or BA2 is already here. What local health officials want you to know about the new variant. Plus new this morning, an IMPD officer is caught on camera punching a student, just learned his punishment. It's a story CBS4 followed extensively. The repercussions the officer still could face outside of the legal system. Melissa? Well, hey, I think all the dogs might like this forecast today. Temperatures are going to be in the low 50s, and we're going to see a dry. But tomorrow, it's going to be a totally different story. As you know, today we're featuring Pinwheel, and he is encouraged by treats. And I think that's something we can all relate to. If you want to adopt Pinwheel, you can check into more of this at the Indianapolis Animal Care Services. But he is ready for adoption and wants a home. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations so you can fight back. Our team will listen to you, dig into our resources, and uncover the truth about who's cutting corners, who's hiding their past, and who could be walking away with your money. Fight back.
Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations at cbs4indy.com or by calling the number on your screen. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. Men, are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Well, you may not have to take pills any longer. There is now a breakthrough technology that can eliminate ED. I'm joined now by Andrew to tell us all about it. Nisha, we use the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, which is shown to open up blood vessels and improve circulation. We've helped so many couples restore normal intimacy without the pills. Andrew, what kinds of clinical studies have been performed on your technology? There are over 45 clinical studies. Even Cambridge University showed our treatments to be effective. One study called it the new standard of care for erectile dysfunction. If you are struggling with erectile dysfunction and want to turn back the clock in the bedroom, take advantage of this special offer and get your love life back. Put a stop to your erectile dysfunction. Call Pine Grove Medical Clinic. You'll get the initial assessment and blood flow ultrasound free and a special gift proven to produce powerful results in the bedroom. A $650 value free to those that call right now. 317-552-1111. I bought my van in 2005. The guys at Tom would take care of me and fix whatever's going on. 120,000 miles later, I still love that car. Trust the Tom Wood Auto Group to service your vehicles. I'm Mark and I live in Vero Beach, Florida. My wife and I have three children. Ruth Ann and I like to hike. We eat healthy, we exercise. I noticed I, I wasn't as sharp as I used to be. My wife introduced me to Prevagen, so I said, yeah, I'll, I'll try it out. I noticed that uh, I felt sharper. I felt like I was able to uh, respond to things quicker. And uh, I thought, yeah, it works for me. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Act now to get Xfinity internet for a great low price. Or visit Xfinity.com slash free to see if you qualify for the affordable connectivity program. Qualifying customers can get free high-speed internet for more streaming, chatting, and gaming on all your devices. Ready for more value? Add Xfinity Mobile for as little as $15 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash free, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. With a heating pit stop for Mr. Quick, our team will thoroughly inspect and tune up your system to make sure it's running smoothly all winter long. When your furnace breaks down, there's only one call to make. And the best part, it's only $89. Call Mr. Quick for on time. Welcome to Morning in America. Thanks for now more than ever, Americans are turning to a new news network. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Marnie Hughes. News Nation is the fastest growing cable news network in the country. The programs, the reporters, giving you the facts without the spin, showing all perspectives. This is America's new home for unbiased news. This is News Nation. News for all America. Hey, good morning, 645, your time right now. We're taking a live look at Indianapolis where we're starting off dry this morning. It's going to be a warm day ahead. And in the 50s, we'll take that. But man, are things about to change drastically in the days to come? Yeah, I was about to say the other shoe is about to fall. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us here at CBS4. Justin Kolar is watching our roads for us. But first, we want to get with meteorologist Alyssa Andrew. She has more of the drastic change we're getting ready to see in your forecast. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, good morning. Drastic is the word. We are going to see things dry and even warmer today into the afternoon. We're going into the low 50s, but then that big change takes place as late rain showers in the day today transition over to a wintry mix overnight and we start off Wednesday morning with some ice and some wintry mix and snow showers on the north end of this thing. So right now what you need to know what we know right now we're looking at a couple of days here. This is going to stretch this winter storm system. It's going to be a, a pretty major one, especially considering we're in a 14 plus snowfall deficit on snowfall inches for the season so far. We're going to expect mixed precipitation, mostly ice accumulation and all that to the south and then on the north end of this thing more of the snowfall. So we're going to get to some snowfall maps and talk about just how much we are expecting to get for Wednesday and Thursday. 31 degrees right now in Indianapolis. It does feel cooler. We have the wind chill. It feels like we are in the 20s, even though our temperatures are fairly mild for this time of year. We shouldn't really be in the 30s. We should be more in the 20s for those lows. Winter storm watch and winter storm warnings all in effect for us, and that's going to be from Wednesday morning 
all through the day Wednesday and on into Thursday evening. Satellite and radar is dry and I'm kind of felt like over across the country almost eerily dry because it's not just this regional view. If you zoom this out, look at the national picture too. Most of us are dry now, maybe a few snowflakes, but not much going on right now. That's all going to change here very quickly. We've got this warm plume of air just to the southwest of us and there's some strong south air that's actually going to be helping to pull some of that south moisture in from the Gulf and also helping to warm things up. Look at that. We've got a low pressure and a high pressure system working in tandem to pull in some of that warm south air and then high pressure northwest of us is actually going to push in some cold air from the north and allow snow to be on the north end of this thing and rain to be on the south end. So here's what it looks like as we head into the next couple of hours. Dry weather temperatures warming up into the low 50s, but that's almost a clear indication that we know a big cold snaps on the way or something is going to change and there's going to be some friction at the boundary of these borders of the warm air and the cold air mass when they meet and they come together. It causes some messy weather and that's what we're going to get these next couple of days by 1 a.m. Those rain showers now transitioning over into a rain to snow mix on the north end and you see that snow now starting to enter Indiana as the time most people are going to be starting to wake up 530 a.m. Getting on into five, six, seven o'clock. We're going to be looking at mostly snow north of I-70 and then right there along I-70 is going to be interesting to see how much ice accumulation and actually hazardous road conditions start to build up there and on the south end of this thing once temperatures are dropping anything that falls as rain we're going to be concerned for freezing surfaces to see freezing rain on contact 4 30 p.m. Wednesday the snow is still going strong we still got rain and a rain to snow mix on the south edge but an interesting little break in precipitation a brief dry break this is going to be happening as temperatures fall below zero so fall below freezing and so anything that we already have that falls right there is just going to freeze over and then very quickly Thursday morning we add heaviest snowfall on top of that. So we're looking at anything from 8 to 12 inches across the central band here in Indianapolis and that's after we already get a rain to snow mix just the day before that on Wednesday. So that's coming up tomorrow and this is why we're under the winter storm watch winter storm weather advisories and we're looking at hazardous road conditions to come into play here. 430 p.m. Thursday we're still seeing snow now drifting farther south but that's a pretty big band of of a rain to snow mix where we could get freezing rain, mixed precipitation and potentially sleet. So that's our latest snow map right now. We're looking at anywhere from 8 to 12 inches across central Indiana and it could be even higher to the north. We're looking at snowfall amounts of well over a foot in some locations for northern Indiana. Big cold snap is on the way after this system passes through. We're expecting temperatures to drop into the 20s and below zero as we head to the weekend. Thanks, thanks for those tips, Alyssa. We have some important things to follow this morning. If you're getting out on the roads right now, really no major concerns unless you're coming from the south near Martinsville. Let's take a look here. That left lane is still close and it will be until 9 o'clock this morning as crews along Indiana 37 continue to work in the median. We got about a half mile slow down there. Nothing too serious, but something to keep your eyes on this morning. We've been telling you about this all morning long as well. You're going to want to take today to pack that car kit. Fill your tank of gas. Put some water, some snacks, some kitty litter and a phone charger in your car. And of course, stay up to date with us here on CBS 4 and tell someone where you're going when you expect to arrive. Now again, we've been telling you to, to fill up the gas tank. Best place to do that this morning if you're looking to save a couple bucks, Brownsburg Shell at 285. What do things look like out on the roads right now? Pretty good. Things are not slowing drivers down and they are enjoying moving at those posted speed limits, even though we do have higher traffic volume. Stay with us. We're going to look at traffic one more time before the show's out, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. Let's get to your top stories now. As Alyssa said, Indiana will be under a winter storm watch starting tomorrow. It'll likely be our biggest winter storm of the year so far. The Indianapolis Department of Public Works is warning it will not be able to treat the roads until after the rain. That means, you guessed it, our streets are likely going to be slick tomorrow and Thursday. Getting to our other headlines here. IMPD is investigating another deadly shooting in Indianapolis. A man was shot and killed on the northeast side Monday near 46 in Arlington. This is the 18th homicide so far this year. Detectives are urging anyone with any information about it to report it. Kokomo police seized nearly $7,000 in cash, drugs, and a gun last week. Police got a warrant. They searched a home on East Lordeman. There they took Gerald Kelly into custody. Right now he's facing multiple charges, including dealing methamphetamine and possession of a firearm by a serious felon. All right, now the federal prison system is on a nationwide lockdown. That's more than 100 prisons, including Terre Haute Federal Prison. Officials said two inmates in Texas were killed and two others were injured during a gang altercation. Officials said the lockdown is out of an abundance of caution. Tensions were high at Monday's UN Security Council meeting. The United States continuing to urge Russia to de-escalate its troop presence. A 
along Ukraine's border. Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson is joining us live right now with how all of that played out. Interested here, Rashad, good morning. Hey, good morning. The goal of the meeting was to rally the international community to confront Russia's military buildup along Ukraine's border, but instead it was heated exchanges between the U.S. and Russia. The situation we're facing in Europe is urgent and dangerous. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Linda Thomas-Greenfield, spoke forcefully at the U.N. Security Council meeting and renewed the call for Russia to de-escalate tensions with its neighbor, Ukraine. Russia's aggression today not only threatened Ukraine, it also threatens Europe. The U.S. hoped to get information from Russia on what exactly it is doing regarding Ukraine, but Russia pushed back and accused the U.S. of inciting panic. They themselves are whipping up tensions and rhetoric and are provoking escalation. The U.S. believes Russia has placed more than 100,000 troops along Ukraine's border. No threat of a planned invasion into Ukraine from the lips of any Russian politician or public figure over all of this period has been made. And President Biden says diplomacy is still the best way forward. With Russia is continuing its buildup of its forces um, around Ukraine, we are ready no matter what happens. <clears throat> And on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are working on a bipartisan sanctions bill against Russia. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you. All right, Rashad, thank you. Meantime, Pfizer is expected to apply for emergency authorization as early as today for a two-dose regimen of its COVID-19 vaccine for children six months to five years old. According to the Associated Press, early data from the drug maker has shown two doses given at one-tenth the strength of an adult shot are safe and produce an immune response. Meanwhile, the FDA just announced full approval for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. It was given emergency use approval in December of 2020. Since its original approval, more than 200 million doses of that vaccine have been administered. The vaccine is still only available for adults. Officials are currently studying if the vaccine is effective in children ages 12 to 17. Coronavirus hospitalizations are trending downward in Indiana. Right now, there's 2,700 people in the hospital. That is down from 3,500 a week and a half ago. The state health department reported about 4,000 new cases Monday. That's much lower than what we've seen recently, although not unusual for a Monday. We're also learning more about a new COVID variant known as BA2 or nicknamed Stealth Omicron. It's been confirmed in several states so far. So in many ways, this new variant is kind of like a second cousin to Omicron. Here in Indiana, health officials are sequencing randomized samples for COVID-19 variants. We have not yet detected it in Indiana. However, this new variant has a, uh, a feature about it which makes it a little bit harder to detect, which is why it's sort of known as the stealth Omicron. So far, early research shows the new variant does not appear to cause more severe disease. Current vaccines also appear to be effective. New this morning, an IMPD officer caught on camera punching a student in 2019 will spend 363 days on probation for his misconduct. Robert Lawson was convicted last November of official misconduct, perjury and false informing. On Monday, a judge dropped the last two charges. Lawson was caught on cell phone video hitting a 17 year old outside Short Ridge High School. Now, a quick warning here. This may be difficult to watch. The teen had been involved in a fight and was being escorted off school property when this confrontation happened. Lawson claimed self-defense, but prosecutors did not agree. He has been suspended without pay since the incident. The Civilian Police Merit Board will now hold a hearing to decide whether Lawson should be terminated. 656 is your time. A winter storm watch begins tomorrow. Ahead of that, though, Marion County officials are speaking directly to Hoosiers today. Yeah, they're warning about dangerous driving conditions for days to come. CBS 4 Lindsay Stone has a preview. 
As Central Indiana is bracing for this wintry blast headed our way, Marion County public officials are urging Hoosiers to plan ahead and holding a press conference today to share those important reminders. Mayor Joe Hogsett, IMPD, DPW, and the National Weather Service are holding a press conference today to share how the city is preparing for this wintry blast. They're also urging Hoosiers to plan ahead. Experts say fill up your gas tank, stock up on non perishable food items, and charge your electronics. And to stay up to date on the latest changes, Weather conditions. Download our Weather Authority app. You can do that anywhere you download your apps. In downtown, Lindsay Stone, CBS4 News. And you want to get your house ready as well. Focus on the outside. Clear out your gutters. Your sidewalk and driveway need to be salted. Experts say with both ice and snow expected, the timing is everything. Don't put this stuff down too soon because if we get a lot of rain prior to the ice, it's just going to wash it all away for nothing. Officials also want you to keep an eye on nearby fire hydrants. Keep those clear of any snow. They should be clear at least three feet in every direction in case of an emergency. Alyssa. Well, hey, good morning. Remember the timing of this thing. We're expecting early Wednesday morning to see rain showers start to transition to the rain to snow mix. Sleep, freezing rain, all possible there in that pink band. And then snow on the north end of this thing as temperatures begin to drop both Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we're expecting some of that heaviest snowfall accumulation to areas to the north. 51 degrees for the high temperature today. And then the big cold snap as this winter storm system passes through. And it gets pretty cold as we head to the weekend. And one quick reminder for you out on the roads. If you're coming to the Circle City from the south near Martinsville, that left lane is closed and will be until 9 o'clock this morning. Things out on the roads, pretty running smoothly. Nothing for drivers to contend with out there. Guys, we'll have another look in about 25 minutes out here. All right. Hey, how about this final story here? Check this out. A brand new sport, professional pillow fighting. Yeah, you heard that well. The league crowned its first ever winners this weekend. Participants were both wore mouth guards and lashed each other with heavy blows using specially designed pillows. Some of the meanest, baddest, toughest trained fighters pummeled each other with fluff-filled strikes in three and a half minute rounds. The winner of both the men's and the women's bracket each took home $5,000 in prize money. Very serious. I mean, it, I will say it does look like it takes some training, you know? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, listen, Looks my like sister is probably, my older sister is probably an expert at this. <laughs> she <laughs> used know. it. Oh, man, she used to definitely whack me over that with that. I, I can't look at it without laughing. I, I mean, they're so serious what they're, with they're doing, pillow, but it's a, know? it's a pillow fight. Hey, for 5,000 bucks, might as well. I Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you got to make sure there's no, like, bricks or rocks. Yeah, no, floor, yeah, no know, bars of soap fair. in the bags. That does it for us. We're back here at 25 Minutes Local Update. We'll see you then. Have a great Tuesday.